What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails to Azure. Last time, we got started with our day one activities for the uh, trade conference. Well, the trade conference has yet to be in full swing. Like, the actual meeting stuff doesn't happen till tomorrow. It's still kind of like the pre-trade conference prep. But we took on one of our first support requests, which was to find Olivia uh for Mueller so that was an experience all in and of itself I still kind of wish obviously they couldn't have thought about this I'm sure when they made this game they weren't knowing they were gonna do like a full voice version for those who don't know uh for all three of the Sky games as well as for uh Zero and Azure they eventually went back and I, I guess you could say remaster the games um, and when they did, they were called the Evo versions, which had the full voice acting for the main story, as opposed to kind of like what you saw in Cold Steel 1, where sometimes a scene will be voiced by certain characters and then other lines will not be voiced. Um, it'd be cool if eventually they did that with Cold Steel as well. But for now, they only have that for, and this is obviously only in Japan, and then obviously now that we have Zero and Azure here, it's over here as well. But... <clears throat> without a uh, a voice mod pack for the Sky games, you can't get it on PC, uh, naturally. Um, but yeah, so the point of what I was trying to say is that I kind of wish that had been a main story uh, quest, because I feel like it would have been really funny to have all that content we just had with Olivia and Mueller uh, fully voiced. But uh, now we're going to continue... Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to head east out of Crossbell. I'm actually not going to bring the car this time. Um, simply because we want to get the monster on the way to our Marika village. And the monster is on East Crossbell Highway, so the monster is going to be out here somewhere. But yeah, so we're going to take out the monster on East Crossbell Highway, and then we are going to head to Armorica to do this uh, training session with Lynn and Aeolia. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Quickly seed. Oh, cool, right here. Easy. So, uh, let's actually get a few fights in first because we want to build up some CP. We haven't really done any fighting since the last, like, real big fight. Let's try and get a few uh, hit from behind fights. Be good for XP as well. Oh well. You can't win them all, right? <clears throat> he does get rushed, so we could actually. It's not gonna hit multiple people, though. Randy Lowell 59, nice. Girl, let's do it. What are you? Oh my. I kind of regret not having full CP because... Ooh. Only 50% escape chance. Well, we'll rock it. We'll see what happens. Ow. 
And of course, uh, that's gonna happen. We can uh, we can make blue break breaker work. Not a KO, but good damage. Wazi does need some healing. Alright, I'm gonna have to give him an item. Where is he? I can't see from here. Uh... I may as well use it because they might KO him. Uh, let me just. Who's the closest one that's gonna attack that I can kill? Yeah, let's go with this one. Yeah, we can definitely make this work. <clears throat> Lloyd hasn't been up this entire fight, unfortunately. Wazi doesn't have a burn on him anymore. Alright, Lloyd, are you gonna finally do something? Wazi is still alive for the moment. I mean, we are having a bit of a rough time here. I think we got it, though. 
That was a bit of work. Definitely would have gone much smoother if I had prepared CP beforehand, but... Oh, there we go. And what do you know? Another craft book. Looks like our two CGF alumni are a perfect fit for it this time around. Well, hot damn. Ready to show everyone what we got, Noel? They won't know what hit them. That works out for me. Howling Raid. Sure, you know what? We've let Randy sit on the sidelines for long enough. We can let Wazzy sit out for a little bit. All right, so now that we've handled this, um, yeah, you know what? Let, let's move forward a little bit this way. Because first things first, I do want to uh, get some of our CP back. Because we're going to be training with Aeolia and Lin. I'm sure they're not going to be pushovers. So it'll be good to have some CP to use again. So. All right, that's some more level ups for the uh, master quartz. Plus, didn't uh, didn't they say their shed was around here? The uh, fisherman on East Crossbell Highway. Hey, might be able to see it on the way. Eight lures, one bait style. Okay. Oh, it says underground? This might not be great bait here. Yeah, no. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, bus stops right up here anyway. We'll get a few more fights in and then take that over to our Morika. Oh, treasure chest over there. And over there. Crimson Co. starring its own line of oil paints. Its flagship pigment is the Scarlet Ochre. Eh. Uh. It is a shame I, I don't really feel like using Wazzy, I mean, using Wazzy and Randy at the same time, just because I like having a balance, unless I'm, like, actually forced to because of story reasons. It's like two melee, two ranged, whether it's magic or otherwise. Oh, here's number 14. Okay.
It's also just beneficial to farm some fights for uh, Sepeth. Alright, I guess we'll take it over from here. I think resting at the end will restore some CP anyway as well. Yep, here they are. Oh god, what? Alright, well, we'll do this. Yep, okay. That fully restored, or almost fully restored, our CP. Alright, that'll work. There you guys are. Tio, my sweet angel. Wait, is she not back yet? Ah, well, there goes my motivation. Sorry to disappoint. Don't be. The guild should be issuing a formal apology for her on a near daily basis. I can forgive her, especially when you're looking as smoking as ever, eh, Olia? Why not take this chance to hop off the Teotot train onto the Orlando Express? I'll pass, heart. Ah, next stop, Singlesville. Randy. Guess that's the end of the line. Please, Randy, give it up already. Our apologies, Lynn. Could you tell us about your request? Sure, it's pretty simple. All we ask is you join us for a training session. In other words, let's have a scrimmage. A scrimmage? You mean you want the SSS to fight against you guys? Why make a request like that now of all times? Well, because it wouldn't have been a fair match until now. I guess you're not wrong. Must you put it so bluntly, though? Haha, <laughs> don't take it too harshly. At least it means we recognize how far you've come. In fact, that's exactly why we want to see what you can dish out for ourselves. My downtime just happens to overlap with Lynn's right now, so if we're going to do this, it needs to be soon. It's a shame we couldn't have Scott and Wenzel join in, too. If those two were here, this fight would have been even more daunting than it already is. Still, you've got a point. Opportunities like this don't come around every day. Hell yeah, I'm always down to get hot and heavy with a more experienced partner. That's not what we're doing here. But yeah, are you now? I never would have pegged the son of the war god as preferring the low ground. Low ground? I don't get... Oh. Wazi, would you please stop tainting Noel's innocent mind? Haha, <laughs> your new members are a riot. Funny and, from the looks of it, quite skilled, too. If you say so, I don't think I'm particularly special. I am. Do your worst. <laughs> no, Noel, Noel's like, I don't think I'm particularly special. And Wazi just immediately, I am. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? Does that mean you accept? What's the call, leader? You're on. If it's a fight you want, that's what you'll get. Where would we be doing this? We were thinking an open space that's out of the way. How's the clearing by the entrance sound? We already checked out with the village chief and got the okay. I'm itching to get started right now if you're up for it. Are you all stocked up and gearing out? We can wait a bit if you need some time. Let's see. Uh, bargain bin bracers, no more. We're all set to go. What do you say we take this outside? By which I mean, consider your challenge officially accepted. Now you're speaking my language. May the best team win. Wow, we've drawn quite a crowd. Looks the word got out about our little match. No way the Bracers lose. 
They're gonna wipe the floor with those cops. Wipe the floor? Why would they mop outside? It would just get all money. Pulley, no! Uh, Pulley, he means the police don't stand a chance. I'm not so sure, though. The S I think the SSS is pretty strong, too. <laughs> Stop. Boy, howdy, I'm getting fired up. Who you reckon is going to win, Chief? Mm, that's a bo tough call. Both groups have been a great help to us in the past. Even Chief Tolta is here. Well, actually, he was the one who told uh, about who we told about the match in the first place. Word always gets around a small community like this one, one way or another. What do you expect? That's over half the town, right? That yeah, it is a very small town. It's starting to make me a little nervous. Heh, <laughs> nothing wrong with having an audience every once in a while. All right, let's get the show on the road. Lynn's a, I believe, if I remember correctly, she's a Taito fighter. So she's gonna fight like Zin. First, we need to figure out how we want to do this. This many people gives us a lot of options to choose from. That said, I think an old-fashioned two-on-two fight would be best. You read my mind. That sound alright with you guys? I don't have a problem with it. It's your request, after all. Can we pick who you'll be fighting? Sure thing. Just as long as you're one of them, Lloyd. Huh? Why me? Come on, don't act so surprised. We're not only here to test your physical strength. We want to see how unified the SSS with you at the helm. That's right, there's no point if the leader doesn't participate. I guess that makes sense. Man, what the hell? I can't even leave the station while this guy is freight hopping into the heart of every damn girl he sees. So, this is the little brother charm in action. I should take notes for my hosting job. I'm going to do us all a favor and pretend I didn't hear any of that. Anyway, those conditions sound perfectly fine to me. In that case, who would you want to partner up with, Lloyd? Hmm, let's see. Like, obviously the hard part with this is, like, I would love to just have two powerhouses, but then healing is going to be a problem. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll fight the way that they're doing. I think Aeolia also fights with an Orbal staff, maybe. So we'd have one close combat and one ranged. So I'll, I'll bring Ellie, since she's our designated healer for the time being. Can I count on you, Ellie? Why, of course. Let's show them what we're made of. We have our matchup. All right, you two, ready your weapons. Here we go. Oh, no, she has throwing knives? What? I don't know why I thought Aeolia fought with an Orbal Staff. All right, well, uh, I don't know who's gonna be easier to beat, but... And I don't think using a Star Blast... I mean, I could still hit them both. You know, why don't we start out with this, since they're both almost at max CP, so using 100 won't make or break anything. Alright, that's a good start. General Aesthetic. and Aesthetic. Oh god, she's doing the Zen thing. Thunder God Kick. Oh no, she does have all of his moves. Well, this is a bit of a pickle. Um, yeah, we're just gonna carry a bomb, actually. Uh, yeah, this will be fine. Secret remedy. Okay, yeah, healing. Great. Toxic knife. Well, thank goodness we didn't get poisoned right on the spot. Ooh, 
Lynn is totally someone I would have loved to have as a party yes. member, but obviously it'd be kind of redundant to have two fist fighters. We're almost there. Buffing yourself up again. Enlightened Pong. What? Oh no, now you're gonna heal her. I don't like this. I gotta be get Lloyd back up. Please don't die. Man, how am I gonna do this? I'm spending all my time trying to get him up. Okay, at least you're alive. That's all I really care about is that he's alive. Which doesn't help me because now they've... I'm almost at a point where it's almost... Yeah, look, they've pretty much fully healed up. I'm almost bet. You know what? Yeah. Let's restart. At this point, it's just kind of pointless. We've already wasted all our CP, tons of items. Come on. Yep, come on, okay. Oh, wait, what, really? I didn't know you could actually lose it. I wouldn't have given up. Okay. Uh, uh, they're too much for us. I don't believe this. They weren't even taking us seriously. So that's all you got. Kind of a letdown, to be honest. We were hoping you'd be able to do a little better than that. Guess you still have a long ways to go when it comes to fighting as a pair. Fine. If facing your whole team is what it's going to take, then let's do it. You want to fight all five of us at once? How the hell would that be fair to you? Wait, hey, we didn't call this training for nothing. Ha! Incredible, she's radiating energy. It's an Eastern technique known as Wekong. This ain't gonna be fun to deal with. Heh, <laughs> someone knows this stuff. Aeolia! Right! Did you just heal us? Letting us all put our best feet forward, I see. Well, I guess I guess this is how we're gonna do it. I was kinda hoping we'd just win, which we could have, but I didn't know this was gonna happen. Yep, this way we can all fight without inhibition. But enough talk, come on, SSS, rise to the challenge. Guess we can't say no. Lloyd, who should fall back and support the other four? Let's do Noel. Noel to the back lines. Yes, sir. Here we come. I feel like this would have probably happened anyway. Even if you won, they probably would have been like, okay, now let, let's do it for real. Unfortunately, we don't have anything between Wazi and uh, Randy. At least we got two fist fighters can go at it. I am so tired of ailments. Especially since I can't do anything about it right now. I don't have Rekuria on any of my characters, unfortunately. And I don't want to keep wasting items. We're already low as it is. I just gotta kind of let this paralysis wear itself out. Yep. Nice effort. Great. You're probably better to take out first so you can stop healing. Huh? 
っしゃYou know what? Let's just beat you down. The faster you go down, the better. That was not as much as I was hoping for. Yep, Enlightened Palm is a chance to be one hit KO. I'm glad I wasted. Wait, what? Right, I can't really move from here. Randy is close. It. Oh, I'm just gonna have Ellie do it. Actually, yeah, I can't even move. So. in there, Randy. Okay, it looks like physical attacks are going to be the way to go here. And of course, he's going to heal anyway. Still can't move for another turn. Bye, Ellie. I can't move. Well, Ellie's gonna have to stay dead for a turn, I guess. Too far away. can't move. Powering up. Please, thank you for missing. be quite fun. No, you know what? We gotta use an item. Bye, Randy. 
All that CP completely gone. Because of... Uh, I, I want to say I don't... I really don't feel like... Never mind. I was going to say I don't feel like one hit KO move should apply to us, but then obviously it might make the game too easy. It's already, it was already hard enough with two on two, and, and now I don't even know what to do at this point. I really need to work on, you know, getting my court setups better because there's nothing to do with these characters in terms of, like, recovery. I need to find out how to get Recuria. Yeah, it's like, I can't move anyway to bring anyone back. Um, whatever. Just attack, I guess. Yeah, and I'm not getting anything done. They're not taking damage. Look at them. They're both still basically at full HP. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I really just don't know what to do. Spending all my time keeping myself alive. No, let's see what happens when we lose. If, if, if we fail, then whatever. This is just... I, I don't understand what you're supposed to do here. Maybe I'm underleveled. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, even with all of us in the fray, we're still no match. They have us beaten every way possible. Ew, I didn't think we'd be able to pull that one off. Near to die, but we managed to see. Yeah, because I got impatient. Maybe the experience factor is what gave us the edge. Oh. All my stamina has returned. What an amazing technique. First you kick our asses, and then you go and heal us. Huh, what kind of man am I? I'm sorry, should I not have done that? Whoa, hey, you got me all wrong. Your arts are like a warm, tender embrace, Aeolia. I don't think I ever knew true happiness before today. Randy. And there goes the last of his dignity. Huh, at least he alleviated some of the tension. You guys are really something else. I could watch you go back and forth for hours. Our pleasure? All right, guys, show's over. We're calling it a day here. Yes, nothing further to see here, everyone. You heard the young ladies. Let's break it up, folks. This was enough of a distraction for one day. Come on now, back to work. You got it, chief. All right, kids, off we go. Hoo-wee, that was one heck of a tussle. Yeah, me, me getting beat up. Thanks again for letting us use this space to spar, Chief Tolta. We got some valuable training in thanks to you. It's not as though we did any, any, we get any, we didn't get anything out of it. The villagers needed a bit of a diversion. Besides, you two have granted many of our village requests. It was the least I could do to return the favor. Take care now. Yeah, I feel bad that I lost both fights, but whatever. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad they got a kick out of all that. So, Lynn, did training with us live up to your expectations? It was alright, I guess. Would have been even better if you held out a while longer, though. I was feeling a little unsatisfied myself. Yeah, that's on us. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's still made for decent training. For now, I'm content that we've gotten a better idea of how each of you fights. You especially, Lloyd. Your taunt for techniques really had my interest. The police focuses on teaching suppression techniques, right? Yeah, I'm surprised you could tell. But what about that caught your attention? Well, taunts usually come from the East, right? You familiar with them, Lynn? I wouldn't call myself an expert, but yeah, a little. I got a feel for a few different Eastern weapons while I was a student, like chakrams or a three-section staff. Okay. On that note, I think I might know how to improve that spinning craft you got, Lloyd. Improve? You think it can be even stronger? Only one way to find out. I can give you a quick lesson right now if you'd like. Wanna give it a try? you do that for me? I couldn't possibly say no. Lucky you, Lloyd. It's not often Lynn is willing to take on a student. While he's learning that, what do you say going over to the Ash Tree Inn so I can learn more about you, Aeolia? I'll pass, thanks. I just can't catch a break. Have you still not learned your lesson, Randy? Yeah, I mean, he, she's already turned you down like three times. 
Sorry to hold us up, guys. Would you mind waiting until we're done with this lesson? Not at all. A chance like this doesn't come often. You should take it. Give us a little twirl so we can see how it's done. We'll be cheering you on from over here, Lloyd. Yeah, you got this. If you say so. All right, let's get started. Right. Oh, cool. I think I got it. Congrats, you pass. Now you just have to get accustomed to using it in actual combat and make it your own. Ew, I think I can do that. Thanks for all the help, Lynn. Well done. Congrats, Lloyd. Thanks, you two. It's amazing, though. Just a few slight adjustments and the force is exerted in a completely different way. Spiraling moves like the one I taught you are derived from the helix form. It's used by the practitioners of the eight leaves, one blade style, which of course means Arios knows it too. The great thing about this form is that it's a fundamental building block. You can apply it to all different kinds of techniques. So technically, Lloyd is using eight leaves, one blade in his style now. That's cool. Ooh. Oh, the, the enlightenment that you were smacking us around with? They say those who master the helix and void forms will attain enlightenment, the pinnacle of martial arts. Helix, void, and enlightenment. That's as far as I understand about the subject, so there's nothing more I can teach you. Basically, enlightenment isn't something the average person can reach, even if they spend their whole life trying. Only a handful across the continent ever achieve it. Really? That few? I've heard stories about this stuff. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. That's definitely the word for it. Obviously, I'm not saying you need to reach enlightenment yourself, but you should keep fine-tuning your skills regardless. I'll do what I can. Shoot, let's wrap this up for now. It's almost time for our next job. Right, we really should be going. I suppose we're all busy this week, aren't we? Yeah, our schedule is packed thanks to the trade conference. I understand the need for it, but Mikkel really d truly does run a tight ship. He has all our shifts planned down to the very last minute. That's absurd. Luckily, he still gives us time for breaks every now and then. Anyway, we need to get going. Keep up the good work out there. Goodbye, everyone. Right, thank you for everything. Lloyd learned Raging Spin. His Axle Rush was craft was strength into Raging Spin. Okay, cool. Attack power and range have been increased. Additionally, enemies will be drawn to toward Lloyd upon usage. All right, well, that's it for that quest. Uh, well, I guess the two that we need to do. So all we have left is our required one for the day now, which is uh, we have to go check in with Bond over in the East District. Uh, so, uh, yep, second floor of the East on East Street. So next time we're going to go ahead and handle that. And uh, I guess we'll see how things go. Well, actually, I'm, I'm not going to rest here. Well, I'll head back to the SSS building uh, when we start up next time. So that way... Uh, I don't have to spend more Mira on uh, resting somewhere. But that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe wherever you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.